welcome to a behemoth of a video. Hello, I'm slightly sick. Hi, slightly sick, I'm dead. Now it's time for my year-long empties. Granted, it's not the end of the year, but these items have been living in my closet, rent-free, and I'm not okay with that. So these transients have to go. Okay, I have them in a bag in front of me. If you hear any crinkling sounds, that's what that's what that is. Let's start with my most embarrassing stash of items. At this uh, Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale last year, I had like a huge order full of lotions that I was planning on just using for the rest of the year. I'm not quite done. I have one left. But here's the thing, they don't work very well. Let's start off with my one of my more, more favorite ones. There's like a little bit left. I might try to dig it out later because I'm gross. Um, this is the Twisted Peppermint 24 hour body lotion. So the fragrance notes are as li listed. Cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla, buttercream, fresh balsam. I might just have the descriptions off to the side. The problem with these are that they're not, oh, it smells they're not that moisturizing on my dry ass skin. I kind of have to mix it with something a little bit thicker. Um, so they're good for the summer and, and uh, like the sweaty seasons. So just summer, it smells it's like slightly buttery and just pepper. Oh, it smells so good. I just, I love it very much, but this is the last time we will be together Another one that I really liked is In the Stars. This smells like my mom. This is a very watered down, citrusy fragrance. Um, it's like it's like milky and orangey at the same time. It's quite clean, and that's why I liked it. Again, I like a little bit. I don't know why. I I haven't. I'm. You know what? I feel like a dumbass now because they're not technically empty, but they're they're empty enough. So I'm gonna try to like scrape out these things later on. This is already not going well. So the next up is spiced gingerbread swirl. It is has like a very nutty gingerbread. I mean not even gingerbread, it just smells very gingery. It has like a little bit of rubber in it, in it. But I, I really, really liked this. This is really good if you're pairing it up with a gourmand perfume. It adds a little bit of spicy depth without being overwhelming because when you add gingerbread and like nutmeg, it can get spicy real fast. Want something gingery but not so spicy. I, re I recommend this if they're selling it this year. I don't know if they are, maybe? This is the one thing that I'm sad about not being able ugh, to repurchase. And I have like a little bit left. Maybe I was saving it for something. I just scooped it out like a Neanderthal, but this is the Tahiti Island Dream. I, I, it's on my hands. I got it. Oh, oh my God. Just everything about this makes me so happy. It smells like a hot girl. Not hot girl me, hot girl someone else. It's very, I mean, I don't necessarily like overwhelming coconut smells, but this has that that weak ass coconut note, you know, the fresh water, the coconut water smell. I don't necessarily smell anything else. I mean, I can't, my nose isn't that good enough to dissect each note within the fragrance, but if you're looking for something that straddles the line between floral and clean with just a hint of fruitiness, I highly recommend you getting this. So, oh God, I love this one. Merry Cherry Cheer. Ugh. Mm, I never thought I would like cherry because when I think of cherry, I think of cherry Dynatap or like a, a cough syrup. I associate those like syrupy berries and cherry notes with illness, but this is like a musky cherry. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. So it is also like a clean, fruity smell. Uh, I would highly recommend it. I'm also very weird cherry, so, but this A plus bro. Um, here's frost, fr frost, and here's frosted coconut. Very coconutty, um, obviously. 
but again, it's a sweet coconut. I love sweet fragrances. My husband is a scrub and he doesn't like them. So anytime I have any of these fruity food like smells, he gets irrationally angry. So whenever I have this, he gets really mad because it smells like coconut cake. Also, he, he, he really hates the, um, the gingerbread one because he's like, someone making sh cookies? Nope, it's inoffensive, but also quite generic. So I, it's just fine. Um, so this is Happy Vibes. This was my least favorite one. It started to grow on me as time progressed, but it smells like cheap shampoo. So very clean. Um, I think it's the Freesia. Is there Freesia? No, that's the other one. I think it might be the pear because I don't like the smell of pear. But it's very pear-y and citrusy at the same time. It, it's just <sighs> cheap shampoo. I don't want the rest of my body to smell like cheap shampoo. I want to smell like expensive shampoo. So if I had the choice, I really, I just, I would not repurchase that at all. Now, oh God, these are so heinously dirty. Hold on. Um, I got this from a client who was decluttering um, a bunch of skincare stuff. So she gave me a bunch of lotions. This is the Now Solutions Vitamin D3 Cream. It's a thousand IU per gram, intense moisture, nour nourishes skin with high potency vitamin D3. It smells old, so I can't, I mean, I don't know. It was fine, I, just, I don't remember. Oh God, it smells, do you remember like, if you're a 90s or 80s kid, remember the Flintstones vitamins, like that chalky ass fucking like dis, Disgusting vitamins that as it melts in your mouth, it tastes like you might as well be eating aluminum foil. That's what this reminds me of. Another thing she gave me, <laughs> she honestly, she just should have just thrown it away. But uh, I'm a poor, so I just took it. This is the Up and Up Target brand, extra healing, extra moisturizer. Skin, ultra dry skin moisturizer. I cut it in half. I really like it. Mainly because this is supposed to be like an off brand version of Jergens. And I, Jergens is my jam, dude. Before I was on this Bath and Body Works kick, I was on a Jergens kick. Uh, I bought like that big bottle for like extra dry skin with um, like a sea foam pump. <laughs> I repurchased that over and over and over again. I love the way it smells. I love how moisturizing it is. Um, I don't know if Up and Up is cruelty free. I should check it out because if it is, I'm gonna repurchase something like this. I use this as a hand cream. Okay, her dog bit into it, which is why I was saying she should have just thrown it away. But so whenever I would like try to get product out, it would seep through the canine marks, but whatever. Maybe dog drool is moisturizing, I don't know. I also used it on my feet. It worked way better than any of all the stuff that I just showed you. And then finally, I have a hand cream. This is Waleda Evening Primrose Age Revitalizing Hand Cream. This was some weak ass shit, dude. I did not like it. It was too herbal in scent for me. It smelled like a very clean but sweaty hippie. I don't appreciate that. It took me a while to use this up. I think it took me maybe like seven or eight months as opposed to this. It took me like two months to use up completely. This took me a long time. I put it in my handbag. I didn't use it in my handbag. I put it in my bedside table. I couldn't use it. I was like, fuck it, dude. I have to figure out how to get rid of this. So I made a concerted effort to use this up, would not repurchase. I don't think it was worth the money. Okay, so with the Bath and Body Works order from last year, I did order a couple of um, anti-backs. Um, oh right, it was like beautiful day. It was too chemically smelling and just so strong. Granted, all of their anti-backs are 
wicked strong so i i wish they would like cut it just like a little bit so at the beach is good it's um it's like a mature coconut i would say not like a victoria's secret level of coconut um because it at the dry down it's very white floral and then fiji white sands oh my god i have to like this wipe this it's so gross this is I don't even remember using this to be honest. They're fine. The only reason why I like buying those is because I really like their keychains. I got the Sol de Janeiro. Is it Sol de Janeiro? Yep, Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana cream. This is the one that smells like buttered popcorn. I hated this. It feels very silicone-y on the skin. It has a jelly like watery texture that I just absolutely hate. If you know what the um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask feels like, that's what it feels like. It's gel like in consistency, kind of watery upon application. But the dry down is like so silicone y that there's a slight tackiness that never dries down. And then when I go like this, it just feels gross. I don't know how to explain it. It's been a while since I've used this up, so I just, I can't. The smell just is so confusing. It's it's too salty for my liking. If you like salty fragrances, yo, go for it. Now we are down in this batch. Uh, the fragrances that I own, or I used to own, I used to have the scent for, um, subscription. A lot of the stuff that I wanted to try were not cruelty free, but oh, oh shit, I forgot I had this. This is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I love this so much. This was the classy teenager that I've always wanted to be. Okay, I mean, not now, but when I was a teenager, I wanted to be that type of teenager. This is like, this is like good times in a bottle like it doesn't smell like my personality that's a little bit more outrageous gregarious extroverted whereas like i am not any of those things but i want to be you know i want to smell like i bring all the boys to the yard i don't, like, I don't know anyways um i enjoyed this as well this is burberry burberry brit edt this smells so clean there's something about it i think it's the almond note in there that just brings it to another level for me i really enjoy it um again if it was cruelty free i would definitely definitely repurchase this this is dolce and gabbana parfum okay i wore this winter last year i enjoyed every second of it it just raises you up to the heavens in a pink cloud Oh, where was I? I'm sorry. I got it because it smells like marshmallows, but this is if a marshmallow um, graduated from like college, university, and she's now entering the world and is now a professional marshmallow. That's what I want to smell like. That's my scent aspirations. I like fluffy qualities in perfumes, like some romantic airiness, if you will. So this is the opposite of that. <laughs> This is Victoria's Secret Brush, Fragrance Mist. This, this is a preteen smell. Not a lot of depth. So I used it as my poop spray, my post poop spray. And you know, I wouldn't repurchase it for various reasons, but it was a cute, you know, easy summery fragrance you can just spray on. Now to my skincare, maybe I can this is a nondescript travel, I don't, container, thank you, um, that used to house a Lush naked bar that took away makeup. So I found myself at a Lush store and I purchased it. At first I asked the, the person, the salesperson, I was like, what can take off waterproof makeup? She suggested this. It was very dry, so it pulled at my eyes. This did not do it very well. I don't think it took my makeup off. I mean, you have to really massage it in. Uh, and I'm not a 
about using that much effort, especially when I'm tired at the end of the day. I got this for my birthday because when you are just a Sephora beauty insider, your choices are so limited. So I got the Drunk Elephant pack and this is the best, bestie number nine jelly cleanser in cantaloupe glycerin. This was a nice basic ass cleanser that I would not repurchase. I used up two bottles of the Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. I actually used up three bottles, but every single time I buy a new bottle, I give half of it to my husband in an empty container and then get myself another one. I really like it. Um, it does a job, it's very basic. I don't know if that it hydrates or refreshes necessarily, but I, I use it a lot. It's cheap, it does a job. What more can you ask for? I totally, I used up like a whole thing of Cetaphil. I thought this was for the dry skin version, but this is the oily skin, so it came out clear. Obviously I wouldn't purchase it again because it's not cruelty free, but even if it wasn't, I really, I really wouldn't. Earlier this year, or I think I bought it this summer, I got a pack of a bunch of uh, Physicians Formula offerings in a deluxe size sample. So this was one of them. This is the Physicians Formula Rose All Day Oil Free Serum. This is the consistency. It is an opalescent cream. I'm not really sure how it is supposed to be used up. I feel like there's too much shimmer for it to make sense to wear it before bed. But then when I put products over it, it's separated. And then if I put it over my makeup as like a highlighter, it completely fucked up my base. So I'm not really sure how to use it. It's uh, I don't know. It didn't do anything. I didn't like it. I wouldn't repurchase it. These are stuff from The Ordinary. Um, the first one is a Granactive Retinoid 2% Emulsion and this is a lactic acid 5%. This has been so long since I've used this, I don't know how I feel about it. And then I have the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. I kind of like this and I think it's the, okay. I don't remember how I feel about it, but I think I remember it actually did something only because after I stopped using it, my skin went haywire. So clearly it did do something. Uh, this is a 100% rose. I mean, I like it. I like the idea of it because it's supposed to have like a lot of vitamin C, hence the colored opaque bottle. But it just, oh yeah, it smells like ass. So I don't like it. I don't like my face smelling like ass unless ass was, you know what? Let's just move on. Um, I had I got like a pack of the Sunday Riley Luna retinol thing. It's blue. Um, it didn't do anything. Um, I did, however, from that pack. It also had the CEO. I did purchase the full size. This is a CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum, and it was really expensive. <laughs> it was like seventy eight dollars. By far the most expensive skincare item that I've ever, ever purchased in my life. And for that, I feel tricked. I also use the Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Lemon Sugar Facial Scrub. I used this a long time ago. You have to use this dry, all right? Otherwise, it's just gonna melt and just like, sticky sugary face not cute i did not like this at all but it was on sale and i don't think it's i got this at the co-op i don't know if they sell it at my local co-op anymore i used up the stridex essential with vitamins this is what i used after i was done with the ordinary i should have ordered like the, the one in the red container but i think i found out that it was not okay fuck it i'm trying to open it but i can't it was not cruelty free, so there's no reason to repurchase it. Um, plus, I think there's like better things out there. Now we're down to like the lotion-y type stuff. Okay. <laughs> Look, you think, you think it's a, a good
good amount. And then you look here and exactly half is not even there. How dare you, sir? And you get this tiny little sample. Um, but I really liked it, unfortunately. This is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Just, it's just say it seems like an extra step that I don't feel does anything for me. So I wouldn't purchase it in a full size. Um, I also got from a Korean pack the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I, oh, again, look at that. You think it's enough? Not enough. This was a main thing. I don't know what it does, but it does it well. I mean, I know what it does. It's not on my skin, on my lips. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, I felt like it was gently exfoliating. Uh, my lips did feel smooth, plus it smelled like Korean strawberry candy. <laughs> mm, so good. So I do, I want to repurchase it in the full size. I just can't get myself to do it yet. This is the Acure. Ooh, what is it? Really brightening night clean cream. Um, it was really nice. It was. It's good for summer. So if you don't need anything really heavy, then I highly recommend this. So I really like that. I would repurchase it. I got it from TJ Maxx. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Again, so, so basic. This is the Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator. This is the consistency I was talking about, the Sol de Janeiro uh, Caramel Corn Lotion. It has that watery consistency that if you have oily skin, maybe you might like this. I feel like that sort of death dimethicone texture breaks me out. I ended up using it on my hands and my feet, or I think I used it on my chest actually. Out of the three sunscreens that I used, I like the Alba Botanica Smoothing Sunscreen SPF. Pure Lavender, I kept this in my bag to re-up when I'm out and about. I don't know where the cover went, but um, I don't recommend you getting lavender scented one because lavender essential oils on your face. Like essential oils on your face, I hear is not necessarily good for you. And um, it was, I think I think it was fine. It could be worse, like what I have now. The worst shit ever, I wanted to throw it away. It's terrible. Oh my God, <laughs> I love this so much. This is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV in SPF 50 or PA++++. This is a Japanese brand. This just glides upon your skin. It is as if Michael the Angel himself came down. Just gently swathed this watery type texture. Zero white cast. And you can use it as like a makeup primer. Fucking hallelujah. I'm sick. I love this. I got it eight dollars from Amazon. Which I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. This is a Nivea Sun Protect and Light Feel SPF 50. I got this from the Philippines. I love spray-on ones, except for the one that I have. That's a piece of shit. Ignore her. This one it just sprays on so easily. No white cast. Does not feel. I mean, it felt like a little greasy, but. This one was dry, and I, <laughs> I liked it a lot, but this one's fine, but I liked it more than the others, so I guess that's a win. This is what you've been waiting for. Probably not. Okay. Uh, this is the Stila Glitter and Glow. I got, like, the trio pack from last year. It looks like I could scrape it out, but this shit is gone. I only liked one. It was the Perlina one. A gorgeous opalescent multifaceted purple pink blue with no base shimmery goodness. Can you, can, can you see that? 
would not repurchase because it always got in my eyes and then the next day it would always hurt. <laughs> so she won't let me love her. I don't have a lot of makeup stuff. I have a pen in here for some reason. <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Uh, I think I used it last year, but I kind of kept it around for the container and I was like, I'm going to do an empties and then January passed by and I didn't do an empty video. And then June passed by and I did do one. So this has been in my trash heap for about a year and a half. This was the most perfectly average powder. I honestly like the one that I'm using right now. If Laura Mercier was cruelty free, I would 100% buy the Secret Brightening, Brightening Powder. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Gives you the perfect lit from within glow. You can use it as a subtle highlight as well. Ugh. This is the Hourglass Diffused Light. And if you can see here, it's done. I used it for everything. I want it back in my life, man. It's so goddamn beautiful. So what you do is you, after you're done with your makeup, like for example, right now, if I got like a big, like maybe Kabuki powder, or brush and then swirl it in and then gently buff it. Create more of a seamless blend for your contour, your blush, and your highlight. It looks airbrushed and you look like you have a filter on your face at all times. Um, and then I have the Benefit Hula Light. I bought like a five pack of their best selling blushes and bronzers. I thought it was too light for me and then I concentrated it. Um, on one cheek and it did darken it just slightly. So if you are either my skin tone or lighter, this is a good beginning, no fuss, matte bronzer. But when I got really tan, um, I just used it to set my eyeshadow base and I think I used it as like a setting powder too. That worked okay. It wasn't the best, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I started off with this in the beginning of the year. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Aqua Waterproof version in the green tube, as you can see. Emily Noel, I swear to God. What a joy. She is just OG YouTube loyalty. However, everything that I've bought upon her recommendation has not gone well for me. This is one of them. She swears, I mean, a lot of people at the time, they swear about like putting it underneath on their lower lash line. It does not work for me. It, it smudged. I think it flaked as well. I don't know if they changed the formula. I've heard that they've changed the formula and it's not as good. I have here in my hand, this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof. One of them says waterproof, one of them says hydrofuge. I don't know what the deal is. It's fine for what it is. Um, but if you're looking for a cheaper dupe of the better than sex from Too Faced, or if you're looking for a cruelty-free version of L'Oreal Lash Paradise, I highly recommend you getting this because the wand is similar. It has that hourglass sh uh, shape with natural bristles, but it's so watery that I have to waste product by either wiping it on a piece of paper that I've done or a piece of like a napkin and going in. Otherwise, it's gonna splatter all over my lids. That has happened a lot. The positive thing I could say about it is that it did hold my curl better than the one that I just recently bought, which is the number seven tubing mascara. So that's why I keep coming to this because I know what it's gonna do. Hourglass Caution Deluxe Sample Size that I got from Sephora, I think it was like a perk or something. Again, it's not waterproof, so it's not gonna hold up my lashes. And I don't remember if it did anything else 
but I wasn't impressed. I didn't think it was that great. Um, then I have three lip products. One is the Nivea Recovery Medicated Lip Repair. Yeah, it works pretty well. I wouldn't repurchase though. And Lous um, Lous Bouche Lipstick in the deluxe sample size that you got on your birthday, I think like two years ago. No, it was, it was last year. I love it so much. I, however, I'm not gonna dig into it because it might be expired and I'm not going to, I'm not gonna push my luck. Um, so I am purchasing it again in some form, but this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine in Bright Poppy. It's lovely. It's a lovely orangey shade. I really like the formula. Like it's thick without being sticky and it had such amazing opacity for a lip gloss. And I would just use it just to hydrate my lips even if I wasn't wearing any makeup. What the hell happened here? Okay, this is not awkward at all. I got this from TJ Maxx. This is a Theory Minoy and Bariti Oil Gloss and Conditioner for medium to coarse hair types, uh, AKA me. This smells so good. It has a slight verbally, but mostly like clean oil smell, slightly nutty. Uh, it's, it made my hair so smooth, but I think they discontinued it because it was at TJ Maxx, but I want to get something comparable to it. It just, it was so beautiful and it was truly a joy to you. So thank you for your service. I panned this bag of candy. Look, man, it's all about, first of all, Twix, number one, number two, Snickers, and then three Musketeers and Milky Ways can go fuck itself. Would repurchase because it's November 1st and this is a candy day sale. So it's my empties of the year. The reason why I wanted to get this out of the way is because I want to have like normal empties videos that aren't like two hours fucking long. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, Feel free to ask me. I am willing to chat about that because I like talking. I like talking about stuff specifically. So, all right, thanks for watching and bye.